Hi, and welcome to this edition of the Options Learning Center. My name is Rick Orford, and I've been a stocks and options trader since 1999. And today, I am excited to show you how to sell short straddles and use bar chart to get the most out of the strategy. A short straddle is a neutral options trading strategy that involves selling both a call and a put on the same underlying asset with identical expiration dates and strike prices. The goal is for the asset's price to remain close to the strike price at expiration. Traders use this strategy when they expect the asset's price to trade within a narrow range. The maximum profit is the premium received, and losses occur if the stock's trading price moves beyond the break-even points in either direction. Bar chart makes it easy to look for underlying assets to use for specific options trading strategies. For short straddles, visit barchart.com, click Options, and then Short Straddle. You'll be brought to a results page containing assets that you can use for the short straddle strategy. You'll also see essential trading details like strike price, premiums, break-even points, and the probability of loss on the trade. You can also arrange each column from highest to lowest or vice versa by clicking on the column head. Everything you see here should be enough to get you started on the trade. However, more experienced traders will want to customize their searches using different criteria. So let's see how bar chart allows you to do just that. From the results page, go to the top left corner of the table and click on the Set Filter tab. You'll be brought to the Options Screener page. As you can see, there are already a few default filters right here, all of which are recommended for the short straddle trade. To add different filters, you can click on the Add a Filter field and type in what you need, or you can go to the drop-down menu and check the different categories and filters. Once you have one, click Add, and the filter will appear on your screen. It's that easy. Now, let me show you how to customize this specific screen even further. First, I'll go to Days to Expiration. This is set to 1 to 60 days by default, but let's say that I prefer trades that expire sooner, so I can set it to 1 to 45. Then I'll click on the ETF checkbox next to the security type so that ETFs will appear in the search. Now, I'm happy with the other filters, so I won't change any of them. With all things being equal, short straddles often have about a 50-50 chance of profit and loss. So I'll set the loss here to a maximum of 40% to be a little on the conservative side. Now I'll hit see results to see what I get. And so here we have four underlying assets that fit the criteria that I set. I'll take the one with the lowest loss probability and use that one as my example. By the way, you can also save your screener to reuse it later. And more than that, you can have Bar Chart email you at a specific time with your trades. So for this example, I'll use NLY stock as the underlying asset. It suggests writing the $20 strike short call and put, receiving $0.49 cents and $0.30 cents respectively for a total of $0.79 cents in premium for the whole trade. This short straddle will expire on September 20th, 2024, approximately 32 days from this recording, and has the lowest loss probability of the results at 32.6%. Now, let's see how this trade could play out. First, we need to know our break-even prices, and these are displayed on the results page right here for quick reference. But it's also no nice to know how they're calculated. Since this is a short options trade where you receive premium at the start, you can simply add the net premium received to the strike to get the upside break-even price. For the downside break-even price, it's just subtracting the net premium from the strike price. Now, if NLY's stock trading price is exactly $20 at expiration, you'll receive the maximum profit for the trade, which is $0.79, cents, or $79 a contract. 
Again, the maximum profit is the total of the premium received at the start of the trade. However, if the price of NLY stock moves beyond either of the break-even prices at expiration, the trade will start to accumulate a loss. Let's say the underlying assets price rallies to $25 at expiration. In that case, your loss is calculated by subtracting the break-even price to the upside, which is $20.69, from the stock's current trading price, which is $25, and multiplying that by 100, and that works out to a loss of $431. Just remember, a short straddles loss on the upside is potentially unlimited, especially if the stock's trading price keeps climbing. Now, if NLY's stock trading price moves below your downside break-even price, you'll start losing money on the trade. So let's say, for example, that it trades at $15 at expiration. Well, your total loss would then be $421, which is calculated by subtracting the current trading price from the downside break-even price, which is $19.21 times 100 for every short straddle. On the downside, the trade will hit maximum loss if the underlying assets price goes to zero at expiration, but that's very unlikely in most circumstances. Here's a quick profit and loss table at different price points to better illustrate how a short straddle can play out. Notice how there's only one price where you'll get maximum profit for the trade, and that's your strike price. Any movement above and below the strike price and break-even points will cause you to start losing money on the trade. Now, I've shown you how Bar Chart's Options Screener searches for potential trades in the entire stock market, but you can also look for short straddles using a specific asset. To do that, visit barchart.com and search for the asset, which will take you to the Overview page and then go to the left-hand panel and look for straddles and strangles. Click on that, and then you'll be brought to the results page for long straddles. From there, click on the short straddle tab where you can sort the column headings, change the expiration dates, or enter a specific strike price. Now, to further refine your selection, you can also click on screen and then set filters and then change the filters as you like, just as I demonstrated earlier. It's that simple. Short straddles, like other option strategies that generate net credit at the start, are attractive to traders seeking immediate cash flow. This strategy works particularly well in markets with minimal price movements, as time decay benefits the seller. The range-bound break-even prices provide some protection against small price fluctuations. However, short straddles can be extremely risky with potentially unlimited loss, as I've shown on the table, and may require significant margin to trade. It's also very sensitive to volatility, given that its max profit point is only on one price. Lastly, short straddles have limited profit potential. Like any other options trading strategy, short straddles should be used in specific market conditions that point to favorable outcomes. In this case, you should only ever use it if you fully expect the price of the underlying asset to not move or stay within the same range until expiration. And for trades like this, I suggest using the option screener for better chances of profit. For more information about short straddles, or if you'd like a more fitting strategy alternative for options trading, don't forget to visit the Options Learning Center.